Hello. Hi, honey. Um, what should I talk about this time? Do you want to hear about space? I'll talk about space. I'll talk about all its theories and all the sweet little things out there. How about we start with something big? We'll go smaller from there. We'll talk about this little theoretical thing. It's called black hole stars. Now, black hole stars are theoretical um, objects of mass that existed around the time that the Big Bang had occurred 13 billion years ago. And what they were, were giant stars that were so big that there was a black hole at the center of the star because it had so much mass that the center was too compressed to function like a regular star. So it compressed into a black hole. Which is, you know, pretty crazy to think about. Um, what's even crazier is the actual size of these. I'm not sure how much you know of space, but as you know, Tun 618 is very big, and even bigger, I believe, is Phoenix A, which is a black hole big enough to hold around 10 of our solar system lined up in a straight line. Now, I only say that for a reference, because the theoretical black hole stars were around ten times that size, making even the biggest black holes we know today to be only but tiny. It's really fun to think about that, at least in my opinion. I mean, something so incredibly big that it makes us seem like we are atoms. But at the same time, it's so small. Because there's so much empty space. And there's so much nothing that the big stuff in space almost seems tiny. I guess that's why we like looking into space. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but sometimes just looking into space and seeing the massive, massive stars not knowing how big they really are by specifics, but just seeing how bright they are and how they shine back at you, staring back at you until you fall asleep or, you know, we should go stargazing sometime. It's really nice. I mean, personally, it's one of my favorite things to do. I don't know if I've told you this, but I used to live in uh, Oregon, and God, if I could describe how beautiful it was there. Hmm. Maybe that'll be our next talk, all about Oregon. Man, if you were in the right area, you could turn off all your lights and look up into the night sky and see the galaxy you live in. And it was beautiful. The most peaceful thing that I've ever seen. Of course, I only saw that in my earlier years. I'd say probably around eight or nine, so it's been quite a while, but... 
If I could relive that memory, I would a thousand times. If I could relive it with you, I'd live it a million times. Just to live it a million more. I love you. Hmm. I hope you sleep well tonight. I can provide you with a blanket if you need one. I know it's getting pretty cold nowadays. No? Well, that's okay. I'm always here to provide you warmth if you need any. But let's go back to space. What's another one? Hmm. How about black holes themselves? Well, black holes are big, big things. Well, some very small, admittedly, but some very big. And what they are is they're solar masses that collapsed in on themselves and couldn't withstand the um, mass being put into one specific space and then turned into something with so much gravity, not even light itself can escape it. What I thought. And what I find is cool about black holes is if you actually go and go inside one, which of course I would not recommend, but if you go inside a black hole and you travel past the event horizon of a black hole and then look outside of the black hole from the inside, you'll experience thousands of years a second pass by. Every second Anywhere from 10 to 100 to 1,000 to 10,000, maybe even millions of years pass by in an instant. Because the black hole transcends light. And, well, as far as we know, as far as physics go, light is time. So if you suppress light, then you suppress time. And I know some black holes certainly do that. Did you know that the actual ring that travels around a black hole, as you get closer to it, uh, you travel faster around the black hole until eventually, as you're right next to the black hole, you're traveling beyond the speed of light. What a fascinating thing. It's, it's fun talking about space, especially with you around. You're a good listener, you know? I like you a lot. I should have you around more, you know? It'd be fun. Maybe we could watch a movie or two. And don't worry about schedules, I'm free most times, and if I'm not, then I'll let you know. But, you know. Let's see. I think that's all the space I have on my mind right now. Thank you for listening. I hope you rest well. Don't forget to sleep. Have a good night.